All right, uh, let's try to prove that uh, there are no prime numbers a, b, and c such that a cubed plus b cubed is equal to c cubed. I'm going to try to prove this by contradiction. So as usual, I'm going to assume the opposite of what we want to say. So we assume that there are prime numbers a, b, and c such that a cubed plus b cubed is equal to c cubed. I'm going to divide this into three possible cases. Case 1, A, B, and C are all odd. Case 2, A or B is even. Case 3, C is even. I'm going to try to eliminate all three cases. Right? So let's start with case 1. A, B, and C are all odd. I'm going to start with the equation. Right? Since the A and B are both odd, A cubed is odd and the b cubed is odd. So we have odd plus odd, which is even, obviously. And the c is odd, so c cubed is odd as well. But this is a contradiction because even is now equal to odd, which is not true. How about case 2? a or b is even. Without loss of generality, uh, we may assume that the a is even because when uh, b was even, then we would be able to do the same argument. So we're going to assume that the A is even. Better yet, uh, since there's only one even prime number, which is 2, so we may assume that the A is equal to 2. Right? So I solve this equation for A cubed, write it as A cubed is equal to C cubed minus B cubed. Since the A is equal to 2, A cubed is 8. Uh, c cubed minus b cubed can be factored as um, c minus b times c squared plus cb plus b squared. All right, since uh, c cubed minus b cubed is equal to 8, c is a larger number than b, so the difference c minus b is at least 1. Right? Then c squared plus uh, cb plus b squared, since the uh, uh, smallest prime number is 2, c squared and the cb and the b squares are all at least 4. So you have 4 plus 4 plus 4. So they're going to be at least 12, which gives you 12, which is a contradiction because now we're saying 8 is greater than or equal to 12, which is not true. All right, how about case 3? c is even which means that uh, c is equal to 2. All right, start with the equation. We know that uh, a cubed plus b cubed is going to be at least a plus 8 because a and b are at least 2, right, which gives you 16. But uh, since c is 2, c cubed is 8, which is a contradiction because now we are saying 16 is less than or equal to 8, right? So since we could eliminate all three possibilities, and we know that uh, our assumption in the beginning was false, so therefore we may conclude that, that there are no prime numbers a, b, and c such that a cubed plus b cubed is equal to c cubed. All right? That's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.